Oh man, I, I might have already talked about it. You guys are racking up interceptions. You leave the country with interceptions. This wasn't mean for you guys to constantly be able to create big turnovers like that. I can imagine that's something you guys take a lot of pride in. Yeah, um, definitely. It's from um, preparation throughout the week. Um, everybody knowing their job and doing their job. You know, when when you do those things, good things tend to happen. And so we just. Um, we just, it's like a domino effect. We just bounce off each other and we continue to improve week by week. How hard is it, that final drive, not being able to be on the field to help and just, you know, you're kind of at the mercy of your offense? Yeah, um, we believed them. You know, we work two minute drill every week against our offense. We know what they can do. So we knew, we had no doubt. We knew that they were going to go down there, whether it was kick a field goal, go to overtime, or go down there and win the game. And uh, defense had to go back out there and get one more stop. We did it. Where are you at mentally in that moment? Are you preparing for overtime, or do you have the confidence that, no, we're going to go score this thing? No, we had the confidence that our offense would go down and score the thing, um, but we always had the mindset of whatever it takes, it takes, whether that's going into overtime or playing four, uh, four quarters of football, which we did today, and coming out victorious. You know, looking at the defense, I don't know if someone talked about this, you know, I think a lot of people can see it's a lot of, you know, maybe bend but don't break, you know, that goal line stand there at the end. Um, you know, what's it like uh, just seeing that and knowing you can the defense can bounce back even after you know letting them drive down the field and you know getting that goal line stop? Yeah, I feel like uh, all season long we've showed um, we showed ability to bounce back when things don't necessarily go our way. But um, but yes, that goal line stop today was big. You know, um, we let them down there. That was our fault. Um, and then we just kept them out. Did you know at that moment that you'd stop them short? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. There was no reason to review it. <laughs> Obviously, no uh, Kanai again today. And Gentry thanked it for business. A lot of staff for Kendall. So I feel like he stepped up. And just slowly big time. Kendall Doby is always ready for the moment. Um, he stepped up big time today. Um, him and Desan McCullough. Um, Keyshawn played a little bit of uh, corner two today. So, I mean, this season we, we have that depth to be able to move people around and, um, and go out there and win. What do you feel like you guys have to do off such an emotional high and challenge yourselves not to get flat during the bye week and come out less motivated than you were going, going into this game? Yeah, we have to uh, follow our head coach's lead. He's a, he's a great leader. He's going um, he's gonna to make sure that we get back to a uh, regular mindset of knowing that we still have work to do, although we just won this game today. Um, but the bye week is great. The bye week is going to be great to go in there and um, fix some things of that nature, and um, we'll be ready for UCF the following week. What do you think?